Hip hop is in the building, said the announcer at the 10th annual Juste Debout street dance competition. The world's best hip hop dancers descended on Paris for the event and a chance to win street dance's highest honor. Competitors represented 12 countries all the way from Japan and Singapore to Sweden and Switzerland. Each two-person team hoped to pop, lock, house, and hip-hop their way to world supremacy. The whole world is here, it's kind of setting a standard for the world. You know, if you're winning Jens Debu, you're setting a standard, you're setting a, 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 a level to reach, to get to the top. Nearly 15,000 spectators who traveled far and wide filled Paris' Palais Omnisport to witness the spectacular display of movement and heated rivalry. But like hip-hop itself, the event has humbler beginnings. It's not that like in the beginning. In the beginning you have only like uh, dancer and a little, a little group, you know. The first edition, I think less than 1,000. I think only 500. One of the organizers of the event, who declined to be interviewed, said that holding the event on this stage, at this level, legitimizes hip-hop as a culture. Indeed, the event felt like the World Cup, or as the announcer put it, the G20 of hip-hop. As Juste Debout continues to grow every year, so too does hip-hop culture around the world, uniting young people everywhere. Brian Redondo, AP7 News.